Hello. I think you should be able to hear us now. Mm. Yeah, hello. Welcome to everyone that's here. Yeah, today we're starting the second day or first day. How do you want to calculate it? Uh, the second day of the course uh, where we now start to focus on this HPC side. But let's talk a bit about the first day. I think we can talk about that. So, yeah, if you, uh, at the end of the stream, we forgot, uh, well, we left it a bit at the end that uh, we wanted feedback from you. Uh, so, um, uh, well, maybe maybe at the end of the day when you we um, ask the feedback for this day, maybe you can also comment on the first day if you have uh, additional feedback. That, um, or you can already, on the, on the first name. during the oh, icebreaker here, comment. you can already yeah. add some comments from yesterday if you had them. So... Yeah, because so like like everything in life, criticism uh, makes you better. Like if you don't know what to, what is the thing that you're um, striving for, you do not get better. So we appreciate feedback on everything, good and bad. Like what was good, what didn't work. Yeah. So the HackMD is the same as yesterday. If you can open that up, we have these initial questions there. Um, icebreaker and so on. Yeah, yeah today's uh, icebreaker is related to, well, what we are going to be running there. Like uh, like we talked yesterday that the HPC system is, is kind of a, like a, remote location where you go like um, like you, it's a different place where you do different kinds of things so similar it's like you well nowadays your office might be your home as as with us uh with me and richard but at the same time yeah if you go to office you usually do different things that you do at home and similarly like with hpc you might do different things there that you do at your normal office so it's like a specialized place for specialized things so uh when you go there, you usually want to pick something, uh, some application or something that you want to do there, or some specific case that you need to solve, that you need the HPC resources for. And uh, the, in the icebreaker, we have a question on uh, what do you need uh, to run your work? Simo, what did you think of the overall flow? What did you think of the overall flow of yesterday? Um, yeah, I I liked it. Yeah, I, I. It's always complicated when you have this kind of a like. The idea behind yesterday was that we would have this kind of like a introduction, gentle introduction to the concepts because not everybody's familiar with the concepts. And, and then we would give some heads up things because like this limited amount of time. Uh, and I think that like I, I liked uh, I what, what we had, but at the same time, it's unfortunate that we didn't have time to go into actual like examples of many of the things that we were talking about. Uh, but at the same time, like I, for some advanced users, it might have been uh, too generic and too philosophical and too much old stuff but it wasn't it was de designed to be for the users who maybe aren't familiar with the concepts so uh, there yeah, and there like, it's it's hard so you you never you never can fit everything into one day how, it, how about you yeah like previous years there had been the complaint that we'd like go straight to things and then we get to the end and people are like is this even the right place for me to work on stuff like, oh, but I can't make this program run. Per or it's like, oh, but this program doesn't even run faster on the cluster than my computer. And why? Well, because it's not really 
designed for it. And there's certain kinds of applications that really scale well. Or people who like start working there and it's too difficult or too weird, too different. So being able to like frame what you need before you start on this path was really helpful. I mean, I found it interesting that one feedback from yesterday was that it's good because it was very comprehensive. And one feedback was you should go straight to the point more quickly. Which I think... Yeah, it's... Yeah. Yeah, go run him. That, that happens to most of our courses. So, I mean, we can't make one thing that suits everyone. But we try to make it clear what days are useful for what people and make it easy for people to skip over the stuff that's not needed for them. Yeah, like like there's this kind of a like a balancing act between like going too much into the specifics when when you might get a feeling that okay, well like this is not relevant for me because like I don't use this tool or I, I don't this is not relevant for me because I'm from a different university and you're talking about all the stuff on only and like this is too specific to like small like too too much detail and then there's like the other end which is like this is so vague that I don't even understand what's happening anymore uh, so yeah um, there's a phone ringing in the background I'll have to go for a second Yeah, like yesterday we were really enthusiastic about like what you were asking in HackMD. It was really great. It was excellent conversation starter because like uh, for and also like gave a, gave us a better glimpse of what what's your reality. Like especially now in the uh, COVID days when we don't have that much physical interaction, we can't see uh, ourselves. Uh, with the users in the offices or in the coffee rooms, but which was basically the place where lots of the best discussion happened. Uh, these kinds of like hack and these type uh, situations where you can give your well anonymous uh, direct like contribution. It's it's uh, it's very refresh refreshing and it it helps us a lot and it helps us uh, focus on when we are talking to the right subjects. So uh, yeah, it, it's very much appreciated that you uh, con like you have asked the questions. And especially today, when we are going to go a bit more into the detail, there might be some concepts that we like we explain in certain way because we have used it uh, or we have looked at it in that way for a long time. But that point of view might not. Uh, it might not uh, well be easily transferable to you. Uh, it might be that we word it incorrectly or we word it uh, ambiguously. So it's it's uh, hard to decipher. So so asking the HackMD questions let us gives us a way of uh, re-evaluating our words and uh, and change our way of teaching so that you can better grasp the concepts. Yeah, so here I've added a few polls to the HackMD. So if you come down and add another letter to it, so this isn't a add a, like change the number, but go like this. So add in another, another O to make a bar graph. So especially this first question, uh, I'm connected to a cluster. So we're assuming that since we ended yesterday, you've been able to get connected and um, have been able to debug and ask for help. So we're not really going over things again. 
yesterday uh, also we had uh, various questions uh, from various uh, people uh, all around the world actually uh, asking like access like can they get access mm -hmm. to to our cluster mm -hmm. and um, unfortunately uh, that's that's not possible we don't have unlimited resources so it's uh, it's for the university uh, staff and researchers only and and people who do research there uh, but uh, but I would highly encourage like seeking out the local cluster that you have or mm -hmm. uh, collaborators like this. If you have collaborators who have access, they can probably get you access to wide array of clusters in EU or uh, er everywhere around the world. Yeah. Um, but even if you do not get the access, uh, like if you stick around to the course, we can still teach you the things because like the same concepts are basically universal all of the clusters in the in the world use some kind of like or like at least or may most of the hpc clusters use some kind of a queue system similar to uh what we have and uh, and the same concepts apply and uh, and even if you feel like okay it's not fun to do the uh, course now because i cannot do the exercises you can always uh always look at the videos that we post on on our youtube channel afterwards uh richard i think you know, already made the previous day available available yesterday yeah so it's yeah so it's already posted we try to do that the same day but also twitch immediately archives it for 14 days so you'll have to search through the right sections in there but um yeah I don't see enough yeses here on I'm connected to a cluster. So I see around 60 people on the stream right now. So please start up and answer the poll. Yeah, because that will become like, like if you want to run on any of the examples, if you want to test out the things yourself, and now we're starting the hands-on part, really, like we try to make it so that you can run as many of the examples that we are going to be presenting. So it's a good idea to like get familiar with the environment in, in the cluster by running the commands yourself, because then you always will get instant feedback if there's something wrong. <laughs> like if you, if you type something wrong and you get accustomed to the uh, command line interface by actually typing the things. So uh, if you haven't yet connected, now it's a good time to connect. There's, uh, like I mentioned yesterday, there's in the HackMD at the top of it of the document, there's like this recommended, our recommended uh, layout if you want to put your uh, window and terminal and everything like that in different places so that you can, even on one screen, uh, one full HD screen, you can probably have a terminal open and a stream open at the same time, hopefully. Yeah. Should we summarize the day? I guess everyone who's coming is likely here. I have our mm. schedule open, which I will share. Yes, here it is. So let's see. Uh, today, what are we discussing? So first we discuss about what you can do with the cluster. Um, and then we quickly go to two real examples. So this is sort of a inversion of what we've done previous years. Other years we start off very basic and then we show all the pieces and then we show everything put together. So now we're going to start by showing you everything put together as a demonstration. So basically we'll go too fast for most people to be able to follow. So you'll just sit back and watch and see. And then we'll go over all of the little steps that go into that so that by the end of tomorrow, you're able to do all of these things. Um, yeah, and then after that basics, first we'll talk about actually running the jobs. So the Slurm batch queuing system that connects things together. Then we'll talk a little bit more about environmental things like how you find software on the cluster and how you store data which are actually important. So before we would talk about things like accessing the software before we talked about running jobs, 
but that made it a little bit abstract. So I just really like an inversion today. And then tomorrow we go to the like parallelization kinds of things. So basically being able to run multiple things at once in three different methods. In addition to a talk from UC, from CSC, who talks about some of the even larger resources available at a national level. So with that being said, let's take a look at the HackMD again. Okay, we're getting more answers here. More people are being connected. Okay. Yeah, um, should we begin then? Um, yeah. Let's see. So first on the schedule is about clusters and our work. So maybe we can head there. 